Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So today I'm here with another festive makeup tutorial and for today's look, I have created this Durga Puja on Navaratri makeup tutorial and for that I have created this beautiful like warm toned matte brown smoky eye look. I have been getting quite a few requests from you to create a matte, all matte eye look and this is what I came up with. I will break down each step so that you can create this look easily and you can pair this look with any of your western outfit or any of your Indian outfits as well. Before starting, if you are new to the channel then hi I am Nita. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me. I upload videos here on my channel almost every single day. So please take a moment to subscribe. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. As always, I'm starting with my brows first. For that, I'm taking my uh, Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony and I am drawing the borders of my brows first. Then I'll be filling them up using small hair like strokes. If you want to know my updated eyebrow routine, I will mention the video in the description box down below. Now I am taking my e.l.f. Cosmetics um concealer hydrating uh, cream concealer in the shade medium sand and i am first cleaning up the borders of my brows and then i applied the same concealer on my eyelids to apply my eyelids for eyeshadows and taking my maybelline fit me loose powder i'm just setting the concealer in place so that it doesn't crease for my eyes first i'm taking this mustard yellow shade from my morphe jaclyn hill volume one palette and this is in the shade creamsicle and with this large fluffy blending brush i am applying it as my transition color this is a beautiful mustard yellow shade and the quality of these eyeshadow palette is so good the mattes just blend beautifully now i am taking this particular shade uh, this is a beautiful warm brown shade and i am applying it as my crease color since i have hooded eyes i am placing the color a little bit higher than usual and the brush that i'm using it is again from morphe this is the morphe a456 brush and i'm slowly building it up to avoid any kind of patchiness i wanted that gradation from a darker shade to a lighter shade and yeah i'm just building it up for my lid shade, I am taking this particular like kind of cool tone brown shade called Chip and this part is a little bit tricky and I am going to share you one tip to combat the situation. For anybody who apply a matte eyeshadow on your eyelids, um, it tends to become patchy, especially with this kind of darker deeper shade. Now, you have to take a fluffy brush, not a flat shader brush. In case you are working with a shimmer shade, you can take a flat shader brush. But whenever you are working with a matte shade, take a fluffy brush and just tap the color first and then using back and forth motion, just slowly build up and taking that uh, crease color i'm just blending out the edges one last time for my eyeliner i am using my essence super precise liquid eyeliner and i am not uh, drawing a wing here it's just um, the lid area and before continuing with my eye makeup further, I'm going to finish my base. For that, I am using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Serum and, serum and I'm just priming my entire face and neck. I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. For color corrector, I'm using my favorite illegal orange color corrector, orange and yellow color corrector, and I'm applying it underneath my eyes, around my mouth, and wherever I have pigmentations and dark spots, and I'm blending it out using my finger because the warmth of my finger uh, will help the product to blend well with my skin. For my foundation today, I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus DB foundation and in the shade Desert Beige, and I'm blending it out using my Wet n Wild uh, sponge. Uh, I have super duper dry skin and my skin is very dry these days. It's the beginning of fall and my skin is acting up. So I'm using the dewy foundation. In case you have oily skin, you can use the regular foundation like regular photo focus matte foundation. For highlighting and concealing, I'm using my favorite Milani concealer and now I'm just blending it out using the same damp sponge. Um, this concealer is again one of my favorite concealers ever. I have raved about this concealer enough here on my channel. This gives you a full coverage. It is very creamy. It blends beautifully, never settles on my lines, never creases easily. In case you are looking for a good drugstore concealer during this festive season, definitely check it out. I 
I'm setting my under eye area as well as my smile lines using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 15 light. And uh, to set my entire makeup in place, I am using my Flower Beauty Miracle matte finishing powder in the shade beige one of my favorite powders it just gives you that super soft focused blurred skin for uh, contouring i am using my juvia's place bronzer in the shade medium and i'm contouring the parameters of my face such as um, the hollows of my cheeks my chin uh, jawline as well as my forehead and for that i'm using this angled brush from wet and wild I'm contouring my nose using my Morphe E6 brush. For my blush today, I'm using my uh, Clinique blush in the shade Ginger Pop. Such a beautiful coral color. Milani Luminoso is a very closer dew for this one. For my highlighter, I'm using my Revlon Skin Lights highlighter in the shade Daydream Glimmer, I believe, and I'm applying it on my cheek bones on my chin on my cupid bow down the bridge of my nose as well as on the center of my forehead i'm going to finish the rest of my eye makeup for that first i'm tight lining my eyes using my milani eyeliner pencil in the shade after dark and then taking my lid shade i am smoking out my entire lower lash line taking the crease shade that was that warm orange color i'm smoking out the border of the previous shade now i am highlighting uh, the inner corner of my eye as well as my brow bones uh, using the same revlon highlighter i'm curling my lashes with my eyelash curler and i'm applying a coat of mascara this is my maybelline sky high mascara in case you do not like to apply falses you can totally skip it and uh, for my falses i'm using this pink zero la lashes i will mention the style and everything in the description box down below and now i am uh, setting my entire makeup using my milani setting spray for my lips i'm using my favorite uh, lipstick at the moment this is a perfect fall lipstick this is my maybelline super stay crayon lipstick in the shade leave on the edge and here is the completed look I truly love the, how the entire look came together. It is really glam, smoky, and the good thing about this look is you can create this look for any outfit, Indian outfit or Western outfit. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you plan to recreate this look, then please tag me on Instagram. It is at the rate in the Instagram world. I will mention the link in the description box down below, so make sure to follow me there. And if you have any video requests, then feel free to comment down below. So yes, you see in my next video. Till then, bye and take care. Bye.